Den här sändningen sponsras av Lager 1, Self Storage. Välkomna till dagens presskonferens efter 3-2-seger för Östersund mot Falkenberg. Hans Eklund, tränare i Falkenberg. Vad är din känsla efter den här matchen? Ja, jag får börja med att gratulera igen och Östersund till segern. Jag tycker vi har en bra match. Jag är jättenöjd med hur vi genomför matchen. Vi skapar väldigt mycket mot ett starkt Östersund. Vi gör två mål på båda plan och missar straff och får ett mål som jag tycker är korrekt. Felaktigt bortdömt. Skapar en hel del chanser i slutet också. Lite karabalik och sådana saker. Så att jag tycker att vi har en bra match på så sätt att vi håller Östersund borta ifrån rätt så mycket farligheter. De har en nick i ribban som, som är bra i slutet här och lite kalabalik efter en hörna tror jag det. Så därför känns det lite seg såklart att släppa in tre långskott. Men det är en del av fotboll. Östersund gav vi inte upp trots att de hade lite motigt och kämpade på. Vi sökte göra det svårt för dem och det är segt för oss såklart sitta här och inte ha med oss någon poäng efter den här matchen är färdigspel. Så att det är bara gratulera oss till Sund. Effektivt distansskytte. Well Men Hans, jag tänker det efter två omgångar så har ni ändå presterat bra fotboll. Ja, jag är jättenöjd med att vi genomför matchen. Men det handlar om att få poäng och då får vi inga poäng idag. Så att det är det det går ut på. Så att vi, kan, vi kan vara nöjda med hur vi gör en prestation. Men det är ändå handlar om att få poäng och det fick vi inte. Ian Birchnall, congratulations. Thank you. How are yeah. you? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm of course pleased with the with the result. It's uh, I think games like that are probably good for the supporters, uh, but not so good if you're a coach uh, because it's so up and down through the game. And when I at two one, I feel like we should take control of the game uh, better, but we lose control and let Falkenberg back in it. And of course, the the goal at the end is. I don't think that Mr. Isherwood is going to claim that he meant that, um, but uh, maybe he did. But uh, I very much doubt that. So we had a little bit of fortune towards the end, but it was important for us to to show that character again. I thought we showed fantastic character away at AIK, a uh, good spirit and a way about us. And I thought we also showed that again today at 2-2. It can swing the other way. Uh, Hans made a very offensive substitution with Chibuki coming on to show their their intentions, but we managed to to get back in the game and of course win it. Um, so the first two goals are fantastic strikes. We miss a lot of chances that are much easier than that. Um, and we had some big problems today. Falkenberg played forwards very quickly. They caused us a lot of problems with the set pieces and the set plays. Um, so we certainly have to be better to, to defend those moments as well. If you compare it with the Oiko game... A uh, completely different game. Yeah. I think that... Uh, I think today we we the onus is more on us here to attack for for sure when uh, when we're at home and we did that but we were also as we were expansive we also left a lot of space that we didn't defend in the the counter attacks very well and we didn't defend some of the I think Falkenberg had fantastic energy to pick up second balls and to uh, to to play in our half a lot of crosses and bodies into the box but I saw that last week against Sudbury. Um, they played excellent against Urubro last week as well, so we knew it was not going to be an easy game at all, and we, it was certainly a very tough game for us. Okay, questions to these two gentlemen. Uh, Ian, uh, the penalties. What do you say about them? Uh, the first one is probably a penalty. I think he puts his hands on him. It's a little cheap, I felt, but it was there was enough there to to merit a penalty. The second one. I felt was maybe I I haven't seen them again, so the the easy thing is for me to say. But from where I saw, it looked like he ran into Charlie as Charlie put his hands up. Uh, so I didn't feel the second one was a penalty at all. But then again, they had a, a goal disallowed that I'm still trying to work out what that was also disallowed for. I haven't seen that again. So there was a lot of very very strange decisions. I think for both teams. So I, I think. I thought the referee struggled a little bit today, if I'm honest, and I, I don't think I don't say that from my perspective. I think he struggled on both sides. So uh, I think the game was a little bit too quick, and he struggled quite a lot through the game. Oh. 
Ja, ganska enig där. Jag tycker att det första är nog säkert straff. Så andra känns ju som att det är en kompensation för det bortämnda målet. Mm. Jag tycker inte. Den andra är väldigt, väldigt billig. I så fall ser han någonting som jag inte ser på bänk. Mm. Som han tycker Nej. är straff. Jag ser inte vad det är för någonting. Det känns bara som att han kommer nog på sig själv att det borde kanske vara ett mål. Det jag dömde bort och sen så blir det en konstig, konstig situation. Och Precis som Mian säger, alltså, han tappade matchen. Han, det var nog bra att det blev paus, han fick lugna ner sig lite. Så blev det lite bättre efter paus, men yeah. han hade lite, lite jobbigt här ett tag, tycker jag. Mm. Yeah, it felt like a, a pretty strange game. I was, were yeah, strange as well. we didn't, just as I felt like we were getting a flow into the game and starting to create some chances, then we, we lost control again and then we, it was often, you know, When Falkenberg had a, a free kick anywhere, almost around the halfway line, they set up to attack that and make it very difficult. And then we have to bring everybody back. And I think that the flow of the game then, we, we were finding it really hard to get into the flow of the game. Um, the, we, we, we did have uh, some problems defending the set plays today and there was a lot to defend. Um, and they, they do it very, very well. So we, we had some problems with that. You know, when, when, uh, when they set up and on the halfway line and take one into the box. We have to bring back Dino and we brought back some of the players to defend that. And then it was hard also to, to build back in. So I felt that maybe affected the flow of the game a little mm -hmm. bit and, um, and and that may be affected. But we have to be better to, to gain back control on those moments, I think. And you spoke earlier about it, but the 3-2 goal, uh, was goal, a bit of a, a lucky goal, what do you say? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yeah, but I think we have some good chances before that, you know. Um, so we, we've created some really good moments before that. And Tom Peterson had a huge chance. Joe Sellers has had chances. So we had some big moments before that that maybe we should have done better with. Um, and then, of course, it, it, typical that you miss some of the easier chances and then you, you get a cross that lands in. And I think it, that kind of goal pretty much summed up the game today. It was a little bit, a bit of a crazy game. Is it like a relief to, to have four points? I mean, it's a bit trick start. Yeah, four it's... Four away, and then Falkenberg and Malmö next. Uh, three first games, pretty tricky. Yeah, four absolutely. Yeah, I, I think you don't... Especially all teams, I think it takes them five, six games before they're really into their flow. And it, you can see that when you, you get into these opening games. And we have a lot of new players still finding their feet a little bit with each other. I think today, what, one, two, three... I think we have five, five players that... Have, And almost new into the team playing today. That means that, of course, sometimes uh, we're, we're not quite there. So it's really important that we can get the points now. And I think we're going to grow from there. Det är ju en första är fantastiskt, det är en riktig pärla. Mm. Uh, och det är ju en del av fotboll. När vi hamnar lågt till svarspel då måste man skjuta utifrån uh, för att uh, störa motstånden på något sätt och uh, få fram för svarspelaren så man går ut i block och då kan det öppna upp sig an annars. Så idag har de ju uh, bra effektivitet. De sätter de här skotten. <coughs> så att, uh, det, det ser ut för oss för jag tycker att vi ligger rätt i positionerna och då är det uh, normalt sett så, så skjuter man dem tio meter över men det gjorde de inte idag oss. Det är, ett, det är ett bra lag, de kan göra mål på många olika sätt och, och det hade varit bättre för oss om de har gjort mål på när de spelar in och nickar ribban eller sådana saker mm. än att vi släpper in de målen. Men ja. vi får ändå vara nöjda med att vi, vi stör dem här uppe.